Floyd Patterson is the fastest thing on two feet. And there it goes! He was awfully fast tonight, he wasn't he? He is the fastest thing on two feet. Oh boy, that's a real good knockdown. Everything Floyd Patterson does is explosive. There is seven or eight straight punches. This made him one of the most exciting heavyweights in boxing history. Boing. Patterson met Cus DeMondo at the age of 14. Cus nurtured Floyd and helped him develop self-confidence, as he would do with Mike Tyson years later. After winning a gold medal in the middleweight division of the 1952 Olympics, Patterson turned professional at the age of 17 under the tutelage of Cus and quickly rose through the ranks. In this fight against Willie Troy, Patterson showed all of the hallmarks of the custom motto peekaboo oh, style. Notice Patterson has awesome he head movements. Left hand high and out front. Patterson looks good, but he's getting help from Troy. But that speed's got him helpless. He makes Troy pay every time he makes him miss a punch. And he's catching it. Patterson's lead hooks are devastating, particularly his left hook. Right and left wobbles Willie. Notice Patterson throws terrific body shots. It's suicide to fight Patterson this way. Floyd's left never misses. Just have to keep slugging with this guy. Willie's hurt by that right. Rocky Marciano wasn't impressed with Patterson's kangaroo punch. This is kangaroo punch, and that's real amateur stuff ready to pick up where he left off. It's murder. Do something, Willie. Patterson has it all his own way with beautiful lead hooks and uppercuts. Willie is badly hurt. Patterson keeps coming in on him. I think it's too late. That's a fighter. Things go wrong, you still stay in. At the end of the fifth round, the doctor and referee made a compassionate decision to pull Troy out. It's over. He starts the fight. Patterson by a TKO. At the age of 21, Patterson took on Archie Moore in a fight for the heavyweight championship, which had been left vacant with the retirement of Rocky Marciano. I think Patterson showed an amazing jab in this fight. The jab was an integral part of the explosive peekaboo style. The jab gives Patterson another option for getting inside. Once Patterson got inside, his power hooks and lightning speed gave him a decisive edge over Archie. Patterson began to up his pace, and he really looked good in this fight when he went through the gears. His explosive style and insane athleticism made him look like a very difficult fighter to deal with. Notice the way he is generating great leverage in every shot. The knockout came with Floyd's signature punch, the explosive lead left hook. Floyd became the youngest heavyweight champion of all time. Look at how much it means to his longtime trainer, Customato. Patterson's first defense of his heavyweight title was against Tommy Jackson on a Monday night in New York. Patterson dominated the fight and put on a great display of skills. That one 
Otherwise. In the second round, Patterson landed a right hand off his double jab and blitzed Jackson with punches for a knockdown. I think Patterson's speed and explosiveness was his greatest asset. Ten seconds. Now. Patterson continued to have target practice on Jackson. Notice the speed of Patterson's punches. He's one of the fastest fighters with his hands, big man, I've ever seen. Combinations are beautiful. He was even enjoying trying out his kangaroo punch. This is what makes Patterson one of my favorite fighters. Of course, it's hard to tell about this man. Another savage right to the side of the head. He is so exciting, and it's so good to watch when he is in full flow. Jackson bloated and battered. Bleeding all over from both sides of the head. Ten seconds. From the nose. Oh, right. 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 Two, three, four. Just look at the awesome head movements and combinations. It's beautiful to watch. Fair right hand by Jack uh, by Jackson, yes. And as the bell rang, a beaut by Patterson. That's all of it. That's all of it. Right hand, the ruby ghost is stopped it. I think the stoppage was okay. Patterson had won every round, and Jackson was taking a beating. That's the end. He hit him with the left hand, drove him back into the ropes, hit him with the right, cocked his right hand again. Round one. The fighters move into the center of the ring. The challenger opens fire first. Patterson's next title defense was against the Olympic champion, Pete Rademacher. The pattern of the fight was established early. Rademacher, the amateur, seemed to confuse Patterson in the beginning. He fights in the classic pattern, boxes straight up with a left lead, which he used to good advantage. For the Rademacher was much older than Patterson, much bigger, and had been fighting as an amateur for years. Notice how the challenger scores with left leads. In a complete shock, Patterson was dropped with a right hand in the Rademacher second round. Rademacher keeps after the champ, but can't get in that telling punch. Patterson seemed embarrassed and returned the favor with a counter combination. Right to the body, another, and the third right. Patterson smashes a right to the jaw. Rademacher is down. The referee counts as we move for close up to a long shot. It's a nine count. From there, it was all Patterson. Patterson moves in and floors him again with a right to the head. The long shot shows referee Lachlan counting. The left and right sends Pete into the ropes. He bounces off and is floored with a right. Notice how Patterson realized that the inside overhand right cannot miss. The weary Rademacher down again from a right to the head. Watch the timekeepers count at the bottom of the screen. Patterson sends Pete down again. A sharp left and then a right. Referee Lockburn is counting over him for the seventh time. This time, it's the knockout. Patterson took on unbeaten Roy Harris and was dropped by an uppercut early. Patterson and White. Harris scores the first knockdown of the fight, but it knocks the champion down who takes a three count and is up fighting. Patterson's punch resistance wasn't great, but he had the biggest heart in boxing. He got up and returned fire at Harris. There it is, Harris is on the canvas. Only once in his career has he been down. Harris down for the first time in the bout. Patterson took over the fight with his explosive combinations and dropped Harris twice in the eighth round. Patterson in training damaged two sparring partners so much 
that they had to leave camp. A whistling right hand, and Harris reels and is down as Mushy Callahan, the referee, moves Patterson to a neutral corner and Floyd Patterson. Three devastating punches, and Harris is down practically in his own corner for the second time in round eight. Patterson was in his groove now. He is the 19th heavyweight champion of the world. He was landing his jab at will. After a vicious right hand knockdown, The corner of Harris wisely pulled him out. The fight has been stopped. It's all over. Floyd Patterson remains king of the heavyweights after a bruising, exciting battle before 17,000 fans. Floyd Patterson, the smooth and relentless stalker, had a battle on his hands tonight as Roy Harris, the pride of cut and shoot Texas, does himself proud. At this point, Sonny Liston had emerged as a huge cloud over the division. Liston had just destroyed Cleveland Williams, and many considered him the best heavyweight in the world. Patterson's trainer, Cus D'Amato, refused to entertain a fight with Liston at this point, citing Liston's mob connections. I think Cus also realized that Sonny was a formidable challenge for Floyd. In Patterson's next fight, he put on an extremely brutal display of power punching against British challenger Brian London. Patterson was like a greyhound out of the gates early, as he blasted London with punches from all angles. Patterson uh, threw a vicious right hand. Uh, evidently, if he can get this fight over in the first round, he'll do it. He is really out to stop it fast. There's seven or eight straight punches. It quickly became apparent that London had no chance to win. Patterson is sharp and dealing out an awful lot of punishment. Patterson delved out one of the most brutal beatings I've ever seen in a boxing ring. It's interesting to note the reaction of the crowd here. They're having a wonderful time. Uh, it's a noisy crowd. They're applauding. They're enjoying it. And of course, the curiosity factor of seeing the champion of the world in action uh, has uh, interest to in them. A noisy crowd, a happy crowd, a sellout crowd. Patterson was very popular. Notice how the commentator found it funny when Patterson shrugged his shoulders after finally missing a punch. <laughs> he shrugged his shoulders, <laughs> uh, shrugged his shoulders as if to say, so what, I, lost, I missed already. <laughs> a very comic little thing. <laughs> That's a, a typical New York gesture. Uh, each boy gets five points. Usually it's five, four, or... A 10 seconds to the end of round three. The difference in speed was huge. Notice how Patterson is making London miss all of his punches and then landing tremendous counters. Patterson decided to target London's body because London was known to have very good punch resistance to the head. The body attack is vicious. Those uh, tremendous body blows have slowed down um, London. I've taken all the sting out of his jab. He's just pawing with a very slow, slow motion. After ripping up London's body, Patterson started adding explosive head punches to his combinations. Taken an awful lot of punishment. He slowed down up. That right hurt uh, London. It shook him up. Those are real thumping shots. London has really been hurt. That's the first time I've seen him show any reaction to that punishment.
right, right above us here. The bell rang. The bell rang at the count of five, and uh, London got up. London was saved by the bell, but the end was near. Be, uh, comparing uh, London's, uh, London's body eventually just collapses to the canvas after taking all of the brutal body shots. Uh, Hurricane Jackson's total. Those body shots. He is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The fight is over. fight is over in round 11 with a full count of 10, a very dramatic shot here now. Let's see what they're doing to, uh, they finally got London to his feet. And the crowd here is giving him a big, a big hand. He took a terrific clobbering. Never had a chance. Never looked like he was even going to come close. Both guys were complimentary to each other in the post-fight interviews. I feel proud for Fulton Floyd Patterson for the World Heavyweight title. And I think, personally, in my own opinion, I am quite in my senses now, that Floyd Patterson is the fastest thing on two feet. He was awfully fast tonight, he wasn't he? He is the fastest thing on two feet. I was hoping when I fought him that he may have had a bad night, but boy, if that's a bad night, he can sure go. Well, uh, Brian, I, you didn't seem to put on an offensive yourself throughout the fight. Were you kept busy defending yourself? Yeah, more or less, you know. Well, you seen the fight, didn't you? <laughs> I sure did. Well, thank you very much no and good luck. And you put on a game effort. You're, you you're worthy of your country. This man took everything I had to offer and still, stuck on his, still stood on his feet. I think even though he might have lost tonight, he might have won as far as his country is concerned because I think he is very, very game and he is to be congratulated for that, if nothing else. Well, Floyd, that's awfully nice of you, and I guess that's about every, what everybody feels. I'm a little better than I was when I fought Harris, and I guess by the time I fight Johansson, uh, I'll probably be even sharper. Thank you very much, Floyd Patterson. Good luck, and continued good luck. And now here's Customato, the manager of the heavyweight champion. What do you think about uh, Patterson tonight? I thought Floyd was uh, twice as good a fight as he was with Harris. I believe that he'll be a better fighter even next time. Uh, were you satisfied with his weight? He was a little bit light, wasn't he? 182 and a fraction. I'm never, I'm never concerned with his weight as long as Patterson feels good. He had speed, he had power, but this guy had extraordinary gameness and, gameness and ability to similarly punish. Well, there's no question about it. Well, Cus, good luck to you and congratulations. Thank you. Patterson's next title defense was against Swedish challenger Ingemar Johansson. I've always believed that Patterson underestimated Johansson. I think he expected to close the show with his lightning-fast combinations. That left jab continues to bother Patterson. Now he attempts to go underneath it. The Swede's speed of foot and quick reflexes are becoming apparent. Patterson came into the fight as a big favorite. He made a very slow start. It was a body attack like this that bore down Floyd's last opponent, Brian London, last May in Indianapolis. But his timing doesn't seem as good tonight. Johansson moves inside and smothers the blows. The world was shocked by what happened next. A left hook to the jaw and there's that pointed right to the head and the champion is down. Patterson is up but he's obviously dazed. He turns away from Johansson toward his corner. And there he goes again. The right hand from Johansson was sharp and fast, and it effectively ended the fight in my opinion. Floyd never really recovered. Notice, Floyd doesn't really have great survival skills. He isn't helped by having a heart that is about the size of Texas. Floyd keeps fighting back instead of clinching. Patterson is running on instinct, and he's never going to give up. I think the referee should have stopped the fight sooner than he did. Ruby Goldstein stops it.
It's all over. Ingemar Johansson is the winner. Ingemar Johansson becomes the first Scandinavian-born fighter ever to hold this most important of all boxing titles and only the fourth undefeated fighter in history to win the heavyweight crown. Johansson showed that he was a well-schooled fighter and we know Patterson had been down in multiple fights. It was still a major shock to everyone watching. There had to be a rematch. Patterson's defense Johansson defended his heavyweight title against uh, Patterson in a rematch and Patterson started trial. way faster this time. And Johansson is caught with a left on the nose. Another left. Johansson landed his powerful right. But this time, Floyd stayed upright. And there is a right hand that connects. Patterson appears to have shaken off the effects of that right hand. Patterson showed great head movement and landed his patented leaping left hook. And Johansson is down. A left hook. Nine. Johansson is bleeding at the mouth. He was took the count of nine. Patterson was fighting like an animal. He lands another Let's brutal hook. Notice Johansson's foot twitching on the canvas. What a knockout. Eight, nine, and wrestling history is made. Wrestling history is made. Patterson was now the only man to regain the heavyweight championship. I know you were worried about Ingo. They're lifting him up now, and he does not seem seriously hurt. You mind if I go over and I, I will let you go over, Floyd. I, if, in just a minute, if you'll give me just another minute, Floyd. When do you have a rematch coming up under the contract, Floyd? In 90 days. In 90 days. Yeah. Do you feel that it will be much the same story then, that you've learned how to fight Ingemar? Well, Howie, I can't say. I sure hope so. You wouldn't boast about it? No. The Former champ Rocky Marciano was highly impressed with the left hooks of Patterson. Did this surprise you, Rocky? Yes, it did. I, I didn't believe that. Uh, oh, boy. That's a real good knockdown. Yeah. He hurt him there, but uh, Ingemar uh, showed some courage here. Yeah, I know he got hit. Oh, that's a good knockout. Good knockout. We had it right. We have another bout to follow. He had uh, not his right hand, certainly, in that usual punching position that he carried at Johansson, and he was uh, wide open for that hook, wasn't he? Yes, he was. He just stepped back and let his hand drop, and, of course, Floyd stepping in with his left hook had a tremendous power, uh, a, a tremendous power in it. Lunch. Ingemar Johansson. The heavyweight champion of the world. Floyd Patterson. Patterson would defend his title against Johansson in a rubber match. Johansson shocked everybody again by dropping Patterson with his vaunted right hand. Here's the right hand. I think Patterson had good experience now of fighting while hurt. He recovered very quickly.
Johnson is still the heavyweight champion of the world. Patterson leaps inside and creates the angle for the short overhand right There's that Johansson right can't see coming. Right in the back of the head, and it really stuns a man. There's a Amanda Dory eight count here in Miami Beach. Unusual for a heavyweight. Yes, that's the out. first time I've heard now it. There, Johansson. Liston was the most feared fighter in boxing at this point. Patterson may have been buying into the hype himself. Took his stance. Lloyd, the inevitable question: What next, Sonny Liston? Well, how we uh. As of now, Sonny Liston is the number one contender. And I've always said that if there is another man out there that can really honestly beat me in a fair and square fight, as much as it hurts, I'd rather see him with the title than myself. Again, Floyd, uh, congratulations. You showed a marvelous fighting heart coming back the way you did. Your mother's in the ring and wants to see you. Good luck to you. Thank you. Patterson defended his title against Tom McNeely next. The number one contender, Sonny Liston, was on the undercard. Patterson got into his groove early, showcasing his tremendous head movements. Patterson's talent made the fight look like he was an elite fighter against a club fighter. Notice how Patterson realizes McNeely just can't deal with his short left hook. McNeely landed a Hail Mary right hand. But Patterson just walked through it and delivered brutal blows in revenge. I thought it was great to see the respect Patterson and his opponent showed each other after their fights. He is crying because he really wanted to take the championship back to Boston. The round, Jack McCarthy will give it in just a moment, the time of the round. It was close near the end of the fourth round here at Maple Leaf Gardens. The champion perspiring heavily, and we'll soon find out just how much of a workout it was. Against uh, you. Bottom of my heart. Thank you. He's one of the greatest. And if anyone ever calls him anything other but a real champion, they got to answer to me. I mean that play from the bottom of my heart. You're a Thank gentleman you. in and out of the ring, and you're a hell of a champion. You're a real part of yourself. Thank you. Were you hurt at ever? Well, uh, I was hurt, but not hurt so bad I didn't know what I was doing. In other words, the punches stung when I was slightly dazed a few times, but fortunately, it wasn't as serious as it might have looked. Floyd, what was your reaction to the fight uh, that preceded this one in Philadelphia? Well, my admiration for Sonny Liston 
as far as a fighter in the ring is concerned, uh, I've already uh, said in many cases to reporters over television and everything else that I think Sonny Liston is a great fighter and uh, all the capabilities of becoming a champion. Patterson defended his heavyweight title against Liston next, and Floyd was a big underdog in the fight. The consensus thought was that Liston would run through Patterson, and that is exactly what happened. Liston wasted no time as a beautiful long-range uppercut effectively ended the fight. Patterson never recovered and got clubbed to the canvas. A left to grazing right and a solid left to the cheekbone Drop the champion. I think we should remember that Patterson was not a natural heavyweight. Liston is one of the best heavyweights of all time. And now that final combination, the left, the grazing right, and then a solid left. Liston and Patterson would have a rematch for the heavyweight title. Liston, with his extreme power, Terrific long and short range game, an exceptional variety of punches, was just a step too far for Floyd. Nobody beat Prime Sonny Liston by going at him. Nobody even tried that. Trying to get underneath the champion straight punches, runs into a right uppercut which sets up the challenger. Notice Liston just walking through Patterson's punch. Ooh, the challenger's long right hand grazes the champion's chin. But Liston's countering left hook is on target and sets up the second. Patterson was just outgunned. Two jarring right hands are followed by the knockout blow, the left uppercut. Patterson would go on to have 22 more fights. We will cover them in a future video. Patterson is one of my favorite fighters of all time. He was an explosive attacking fighter who was not really a heavyweight, but was fighting as a heavyweight. He was vulnerable as a result of that and that vulnerability made him an even more exciting fighter. Floyd was just an all-around great human being. He conducted himself as a champion and exactly how a public figure should carry himself. What is very impressive was the tenacity to accomplish the unthinkable, to rise after a crushing defeat at the hands of Ingemar Johansson to recapture the title. I think he deserves a standing ovation for demonstrating his bravery in and out of the ring.